It's Monday the 29th of May 2023 and we're back here at the Alton Towers Resort for our final vlog from the UK before our America road trip. Oh, we're so excited and we're also excited for when we come back to see how much work has actually been done while we've been away. I think a lot of work is going to be happening on Nemesis. We're going to come back down here to Vidden Valley and see so much more track in place for Nemesis. But yeah, come and join us in this video as we bring you the latest updates and take our final look before we head out to the USA at Nemesis. And in fact, another section of track has gone in over the past couple of days and there's also been a few other changes to the station area and here in Forbidden Valley. So let's have a look. Let's start off then by talking about the wider Forbidden Valley themed area here at Alton Towers. And yeah, I do love these retro signs just up here. I hope they still keep this rustic look around the area because I do like it. And yeah, the classic Forbidden Valley logo. Um, yeah, they've actually opened up this pathway again now at the front of Nemesis. And they've opened it for a little bit and they've closed it. Now it's open again. And as you can see, it says, Welcome to Forbidden Valley. This area is under Phalanx jurisdiction. And of course, you can scan the QR code for the latest updates. Yeah, this sign over here, though, is actually brand new. They've just put this in a couple of days ago. And as you can see, it says, Welcome to Forbidden Valley by order of the Phalanx. Scientific testing in progress. And again, you can sign up for the latest updates. And I definitely recommend doing that because you will get emails from Alton Towers um, giving you the latest updates when they post new videos and add to all the marketing for this, which has been fantastic. But yeah, new sign down here, which is great to see. So all this pathway is back open down here for now. And yeah, I thought this was going to stay closed actually whilst we were working on the track in this area. Um, yeah, that track's not gone into place yet. However, another piece has gone in, uh, which we'll show you in just a moment. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of document this um, as it stands right now before our trip. And yeah, when we come back and see it, it's going to be really interesting to see what progress they've made. But yeah, let's have a little look through here and see what we can see. Oh wow, look at this. So yeah, now this pathway is opened up here, we get a great view of them two supports. They went into place a couple of weeks ago now, but obviously because this part of the pathway was closed, we couldn't see them very close. Now we get a nice close up look at them there as well. And of course the color uh, with the black supports. Yeah, fantastic to see. No further work seems to have happened on the painting of the lift deal or anything yet. Again, that could change before we're next here seeing it in person. And yeah, there's a look at the station and again from here no changes to the monster however down at the back as we'll see in just a moment they have actually started to take off some of the fake track you can kind of see some of it just there at the bottom uh, while well, they've removed it now down there at the back which is really interesting um yeah there's a look at them supports close up no track gone in there yet i thought we might have seen that go in by now um but like i say there is another section which is actually part of the final inversion on nemesis obviously there's four inversions on this classic bnm coaster and uh, yeah the final um inversion the final corkscrew um, is now in place which is fantastic to see and we'll uh, get some better angles of that in just a moment but yeah just wanted to show you that close-up look at the supports there from this angle here's another little update for you then what we couldn't see from up there before and yeah they've actually pressure washed the rocks here and here's one for you this rock just here as you can see it's actually on some other smaller rocks because if you remember this was actually standing up right here in the middle oh, and they it took was, it out yeah because then you'd have a photo on yeah. there with nemesis in the background yeah i had the sign on there oh, if you're the, a copy of the sign yeah. from up the top was just it. down here there you go um so yeah you can just see the uh, big rock there hopefully they'll put that back into place but obviously they've had to move it out of the way um for cranes and everything to come in but it has been pressure washed which makes me think it will come back there you go fun little fact you think it was just at the side yeah, all the time literally it was right here yeah, in the middle cool. if you remember and yeah from further back here we get a better view looking at the lift hill just over there too for Nemesis. But yeah, it's Bank Holiday Monday today when we're filming this, so there's actually no construction work happening on site today. There goes the monorail. Fresh British strawberries coming past. And a look from a bit further back here at the Nemesis lift hill, and also them supports that went into place a couple of weeks ago as well. And yeah, from here we can pan across over towards the Nemesis entrance with the sign still in place up there at the moment too. And of course the observation platform just off to the left there as well. But yeah, I think it's much nicer having this pathway back open here, coming down under the Nemesis Archway. I'd imagine this will get blocked off again when we start seeing the track go into place, um, like this, uh, of course, helix over here that wraps around the bottom of the monorail support, and yeah, some of the other sections. But uh, no, it is back open for now. 
From this angle, you also get a great view looking at the Nemesis Station building and yeah, how they've actually started to remove some of the fake track from on there now, which is interesting, confirming that some work is happening to the station. And also you get to see the supports in place on the left and off to the right there, another support which has gone in place too. Also, you can have a look from here at the foundation work that's happening. Um, you can see there where one of the supports will go. This is for the helix underneath the monorail track and another angle looking at that just there too with the new supports in place just behind it in the distance but no supports in place yet at the helix just there. And here's another angle looking at where the helix starts and also zooming in for you there on that support that went in just a couple of weeks ago. After taking a closer look there where the helix is going to be, from here you can get a look at the entrance. Yeah, all that signage still in place for now. Of course, we can expect all that to be updated as Nemesis is reborn in 2024. Yeah, there's a look at the lift hill. And yeah, over here to the right hand side. Yeah, no other track or supports in place down here yet. However, I'd imagine that's going to change pretty soon. Now today is actually the third day of Nemesis Subterra operating for the first time in eight years. And yeah, it seems to have been really popular over the weekend. Queues have peaked at 90 minutes yeah, at points. it's been quite busy, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we did a full opening day review from Nemesis Subterra, so make sure you check it out if you haven't already seen it. I want to say opening day, should I say re-opening day I know, of Subterra. it was closed for quite some time, wasn't it? It was indeed. It's nice to have this pathway back open though, like leading all the way through the archway. This makes access a bit better down to the bottom for Galactica and yeah squadron supplies the shop just over to the right hand side still can't go inside no, can't go in you just got to look at it from, <laughs> from a get, distance yeah. one, <laughs> there we go so give a bit of an update from the uh, observation platform and of course talk about that new track what has gone into place just the one piece but still every piece matters doesn't it there it is a lot, a lot less uh, chaotic ground here than it was for the opening day yeah 40 minutes advertised wait time at the moment. We uh, waited in this this morning. We did have another ride whilst we we're here. And uh, yeah, they tend to fill this up on a morning before letting you in the main queue. So if you do come down here and think, oh blimey, it looks busy. That's because there's nobody in the main queue prior to 10 o'clock. They fill this up first and then let you in um, through the, uh, the main entrance. Yeah, and it's a 40 minute advertised wait for Nemesis of Terror at the moment. We'll head up onto the observation platform and from here we'll get a bit of an idea on where they're classing 40 minutes as from in terms of, yeah, with the queue line. Yeah, this is completely separate to the queue line for Subterra. That's on the left. Observation platforms here on the right hand side. Yeah, they're classing it just for me. Hey, have a good ride. Um, just from the top, just over there. See, it's kind of like one loop down, one back up and then round to the building itself. Back up here then now on the Nemesis observation platform. Our last time on here for over a month, which is crazy. Can't wait to stand here again though in July and look over the site and see what we can see whilst we've been over in the States and come back and hope we see a lot more tracking supports in place. Uh, but from here, you can also get a great view looking at the final corkscrew on Nemesis, that final inversion, inversion number four on the ride. And as you can see, I zoomed all the way in from actually just on the walkway up here to the platform. Um, yeah, you can see that right there. And of course, that's section of track that went into place just a couple of days ago and also there's another support in place just prior to that which is for the next section of track which of course it just goes in first before making your way into the rest of the element itself which is the final corkscrew on Nemesis but so yeah we'll have another pan over here uh, but no major changes to see from here other than that yeah and here's that pan all the way across the construction site from here. The last footage I'm going to be getting from this angle of Nemesis looking like this. Who knows where it's going to be in like four or five weeks from now when we're next back here, like looking over this site. Like really excited to see how much they've done whilst we're away over in the States, riding many other iconic B&M inverted coasters. And of course, with the pathway being back open, the entrance to the blade, which is the swinging ship that we can see over there, has now moved back to where it was originally on the other side. You've still got the shiny new entrance in place down here though. So I reckon this is gonna be the permanent entrance from next year for Blade. I mean, they've put all this in down here. It makes more sense and it's black. Maybe so. I'm hoping that they paint the blade like red, maybe. I think they will. It wouldn't surprise me if they paint the actual ride up as well. Yeah, 
fit with it being yellow. Does no, it? oldest operating ride at Alton Towers as well, the Blade, but it still keeps going on strong. Pray for Blade, everybody. It's still going here at Alton Towers. I think ideally, if they're doing an area refresh, they should replace it with a brand new model, in my opinion, um, just so it's more for the long term. But we'll see what happens. I doubt they will do, but you never know. It's reliable then for like many years to come, won't it? Yeah, that's what they should do, really, in my opinion. Um, yeah, you have got the new entrance signage down here. It is black. I do think we're going to see this as the main permanent entrance from uh, 2024 and probably again later this year uh, when they need to close off the fence on that side. And of course the big question still remains, are we going to see any changes to Galactica made for 2024 down here? I mean it's clear now that Forbidden Valley is having a refresh, but Galactica doesn't really fit in with its space theme. So yeah, maybe we could see it go back to being called Air or br brought in with the Phalanx. I'd love to see them do that, it I really would. It doesn't fit in, does it, with the colour scheme and like the portal, it doesn't match with the Air. Hey, have a good day. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see them repaint it um, and, and yeah, just kind of fit in more with the Phalanx. But uh, there we go. That's I think we're walking out of Alton Towers and we won't be back for over a month, which is crazy. Like our local park, we've seen so many changes here. I've loved covering Nemesis so far. And of course, there'll be lots more updates on the way, um, you know, soon when we come back from the trip. I can't wait to see how much he's done while we're away. Yeah, it's exciting. Like, it's see, yeah, the whole thing could pretty much be doing. Yeah, we, you don't know, we like, don't know. anything's possible. I mean, I doubt it, but uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot more tracking supports is going to have gone in place down here at the Alton Towers Resort. Forbidden Valley and Alton Towers, we'll see you in July. Flying off to the USA. And yet once again, the trucks have seemed to have moved position down here on the car park as well. And yeah, I'd imagine all this track and these supports are probably going to be in place next time we're seeing it in person here at Alton Towers. But yeah, here's a look at the current state of the car park down here. All the track that's on the floor over there. Uh, but yeah, they've got the metal kind of sheeting on there to stop it from getting scratched and everything if you're wondering oh they've just put it on the floor don't worry they have thought about that so it doesn't get damaged that's the worst thing isn't it you don't want any scratches uh, especially with it having all that uh, detailing on there with the red veins as well but yeah some massive supports down here i mean we showed these in the update last week but yeah look at these loads of supports but yeah no work going on today with it being bank holiday monday but yeah a look at all these supports and track next time we see these more than likely they're going to be in the place in Forbidden Valley. And I say see these as in in person. Of course, I have lots of pictures and stuff that oh, we're going to see. Sure. Yeah, it's but exciting, uh, isn't it? it is really exciting. I love covering it so far. It's kind of like a two seasons with this project for us. And we've had season one of Nemesis Construction. Season two will resume in July. But uh, yeah, look at this. Fantastic. Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of this Nemesis construction update here from Alton Towers. And just a bit of a summary, really, of the project so far. I've got to say, they've done a fantastic job uh, with the marketing and building the hype. It was always going to be a weird season, wasn't it, this year, with Nemesis being closed. However, they've done a fantastic job, and the reopening of Nemesis Subterra has really helped with that, building up the storyline. And also, as well, of course, seeing all the tracking supports delivered um, just over a month ago has been amazing, hasn't it? I think Alton Towers have done such a fantastic job, like from the start and obviously all the way to the end. It's just been amazing. And that's the thing, you know, they're going to carry on this until this coaster reopens in probably March next year. It's just so exciting because we know that we're going to have more videos and it's the build up we can't wait. Yeah, we met the main nemesis man himself oh, in the I phalanx. He was called like the head of the phalanx and we saw him on the opening day Don't for Subterra. He's a dodgy character, yeah, dodgy character. Um, yeah, make sure you check out that video, full review of Nemesis Subterra from the opening day. But there we go, Nemesis, we will be back um, in July with See more updates later. here on Theme Park Worldwide. And the next set of vlogs coming up on this channel will be a huge USA road trip, 25 different theme parks. We're traveling through 15 states, over 4,000 miles. It's gonna be an incredible adventure. And there's gonna also be content over on our second channel the Sandbrook Adventures. So we'd love to see you over there too on our second channel for more of the travel aspects, hotels, and some random bits in between too. Yeah, we're going to have a few rest days where we can do some sightseeing. Yeah, and just some random surprises and just things we see when we're driving along that we're going to cover on that channel too. But there we go, from the Alton Towers Resort, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding! We'll see you on the way to the US.